Hello again, folks. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in CyberLink Power Director, looking at the cool tools that are available in the program that sometimes people aren't even aware are there. And one of the things I very much appreciate about the program is how it sometimes takes very complicated tasks and with its intuitively designed designers, it can make those tasks sometimes very simple and very easy to create an effect. So we're going to take these three video clips that are in my media room now, and we're going to create a collage with them. We're going to create a multi-screen effect, which could be very complicated if you created it manually, but the program makes it very simple to do. So let's go up to the plugins menu the top of the screen and from plugin select video collage designer here in the video collage designer we see the media that was in our media room we could also browse to media on our hard drive and then we have layout some patterns we can choose for our multi-screen effect and you can go with as few as two or up to many many there's four or five on and on but i do have to warn you the more video clips are on screen at the same time the more it's going to bog down your machine at least until you render your timeline so be aware of that so to keep things simple and not bog things down too much i'm just going to work with these three clips and i'm going to choose a nice pattern where the three can be on screen at the same time here's a nice one we'll click on that and it will appear in our window and then it's as simple as just dragging the clips into the little squares, into the placeholders, right? I can swap any in or out just by dragging a different clip in there. But this is this is a pretty nice composition. And then I have lots of options. Now there's a border between them. I can control the size of the border, as you might expect, and the color of the border. These clips are going to appear on screen uh, as three separate clips and then they'll fall into this little montage or this collage uh, and you can choose whether it opens with an animation of all these pieces coming together or closes with an animation of them moving apart or no animation at all. Let's go ahead and leave it as is from the beginning. And then as we scroll down here further, we have some advanced settings. Now, these video clips are not the same length. So this one is about eight seconds long. This one over here is about 12 and a half, almost 13. This one's 27 seconds long. What's gonna happen when this is done playing? Well, you can choose what happens. For instance, you can choose for the video to just freeze when it's done playing. That's what it's set at by default. And they'll each freeze until the last video finishes playing or they can go to whatever color you want and just disappear from the screen or they can restart and loop and play over and over again let's do that that's kind of fun another option you can do if you notice if you hover over any of these blocks is if you click on that little scissors icon it opens up an area where you can trim the clips and you could trim the clips so that they were all the same length and then you don't have to deal with an issue of one ending while another is still playing But back here in our video collage designer, we have finally some advanced settings. And if I click on advanced settings, I can control how these videos play. Do they all play at the same time? Which I kind of like. Or you can have them play in a delayed sequence where one starts, and then a few seconds later another starts, and then a few seconds later another starts. Or one plays and then stops, and the next one plays and then stops. And we're just gonna leave it as is here and have it play all at once. And we'll have the advanced settings set to restart playback. So these should just play continuously. But let's see how the whole sequence looks. I'm going to click the play button. So you can see how the shorter clips uh, repeat themselves. So they go in an endless loop, and that's because we selected that option. They'll just continuously loop. Anyway, it's a very complicated process if you were to create that on a timeline. You're, you're cropping images, you're kind of arranging them, you're working with several tracks of video. Look how simple it is just to drag your clips into the pattern and then select the options to create the effect that you want. We'll click OK because we're done. There's our finished piece. 
Now, if you want to know more about this program, check out the many tips and tutorials. We'll show you all the hidden tools that are in it at moviepicks.com. If you want to know everything, all these hidden tools, where they are and how to use them, you'll want to check out the moviepicks.com guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. I'm the guy who wrote the book, and it's available on Amazon.com. I hope you'll check it out, and I hope I see you again real soon. Take care.